Okay. Yep, we're gonna be unboxing this thing, the Pokemon 20 Edition New 3DS. Oh boy, this was the only DS I did not have yet. And of course, I've been using the new 3DS XL for like the longest time, and this is a great system. But there's always something about the smaller system that makes me want to come back. I don't know why, but it just does. Now. There's like, now it does come with two cover plates, which is one of the main reasons why I bought the system. Because not only it's a smaller version, but you can customize the hardware, which in my opinion is not getting a lot of attention. So I thought, why not go ahead and make an unboxing? Oh my god, my camera's going to die on me. Oh, that's not good. Okay, give me one second, and we are back. I'm charging my camera while I'm recording this. Because I've been waiting all day to open this thing. And plus, you can kind of go up the front of the box here. So colorful. So Pokemon. Uh, right on the side. So. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, that was actually kind of easy. Everything's packed in here really, really tight. So we're just gonna pull on this. Alright, and looks like we got some. Oh my god, there's, there's a tray under here. And, ooh, do I see what I think I see? Oh, whoop. Oh. AR cards. Yup, the will code for the uh, exclusive themes that come with this bundle. So, don't wanna see that. Or is, it, is this the will code for the game itself? Or does it... No, it, it's the theme. Okay. Uh, the Operations Manual. It's made for the 3, new 3DS XL. And just a uh, quick info card on how to remove the cover plates on the thing. Yep. Underneath this tray, we have one set of plates. We'll take a look at the cover plates at, near the end of the video, so be sure you stay tuned for that. Here we got the Charizard plate that goes on the top here. On the system, and that's actually a very nice build quality. That's actually kind of nice. And now let's take a look at the system. And there it is. Wow, that's actually really nice looking. All right, let's go ahead and put the cover plate on. Put in the bottom first, and are we secure? Yep, yeah, we're secure. Wow. That's actually... It feels so solid, my god. Now, in terms of port and slot layout, compared to the new 3DS XL, they are exactly the same, except, you know, the obvious difference. And a pretty big obvious difference. So, on the bottom, it's the same. Except there are a couple things that are different. Uh, stylus is a little bit smaller. Let's take a look at the stylus here. Yeah, it's small. It feels a little flimsy. I mean, I certainly like the new 3DS XL stylus. Maybe because of its uh, thicker form factor. But oh well. It's something I can get used to quickly. Dude, that's not familiar. Now, the power one's still on the bottom as well, but I heard in other videos the power one's kind of hard to push. So. And another thing I really like is that the system is white. I like the look of this. Hmm. So let's open it up. Oh my god, that hinge feels awesome! So solid! Wow! It's so quiet! You probably can't even hear that. The soft, oh my god. It's certainly much better than my new 3DS XL. Which snaps really wildly, I was, I was never a big fan of it. The soft, the silent clicking on here. I like that a lot more. Wow. That's actually a really nice looking system. And it actually feels good in the hand. I kinda like that. The buttons are very, very clicky. 
versus my model, which are a lot softer. So let's grab the original 3DS with the compared to the new 3DS. And it's a little bit longer. And uh just a half a millimeter thicker. And to a height, it's a little bit taller. So overall it's pretty much a larger system. But it's not too bad in terms of its size. It's actually still pretty compact. And uh if you compare the screens here, where did I put my there it is. You can't tell right away, but comparing these screens are definitely bigger over the original 3DS. Uh we go from a 3.5 inch 3D display to what was it like a 3.8 inch screen. And we go from three inches to 3.3 .3 inches. So yeah, I actually really like this. So now we'll actually uh, go ahead and uh, take off the bottom plate here because we're going to compare it to compare both. We're actually, what I'm trying to say is we're going to take a look at both sets of cover plates that come with the system. But I'm also going to be upgrading my micro SD card. So okay, that's one lock. That one's done. Alright, that's two. And. That was actually really easy. And, there's the micro SD card. And a 4 gigabyte card comes with the system. And, I'm not sure if red and blue are on the cards themselves, on the SD card. So, what I'm going to be doing is. Where the heck did I put it? Anyway, I'm going to be upgrading the micro SD card. Here it is. To from 4 gigs to 16 gigs. So, for now, I'm just going to I'm just going to put the plate back on. Just so that we can hold on one second. Sorry about the rough interruption right there, but I'm just going to take a minute to set it up. Then I uh, will compare to take a look at the two plates. So for now, I'm just gonna press the power button. Oh, right. mm. And there are the two cover plates that you get with the special edition. And for those who, well, I'm just gonna point out and say it. They they do re resemble the original art on the. Uh, the box and the cartridges themselves for the original Pokemon Red and Blue, which does come pre installed on the system, which is great. And the, now that I have finally have the new, the smaller new 3DS, I can finally enjoy all the Nintendo 3DS systems. Now, as for which one I would prefer, I don't know. If I, let's go ahead and put the Blastoise plate on. We're curious on what that looks like. So let's go ahead and put this one on. There, that's one screw. Oh, that didn't sound good. Oh, that was my screwdriver. And then we put the bottom. First, hmm, that looks kind of nice with the white, actually. I mean, I have obviously used a lot of systems in red, but I have the blue 3DS XL, which I will not bring out for comparison. But I think I'll go with this and go with the Pokemon Blue theme, respectively. Because I, I mean, I got Pokemon Blue first, uh, back in the day. Now, if you saw my Pokemon Memories video, then you, or know exactly when I got into Pokemon. I was not, oh, never mind. So, yeah, 
I actually kind of like this. I mean, I love the overall design of the system. Uh, it looks really nice. The matte finish as opposed to the glossy exterior of the XL, which looks good. Don't get me wrong. Good. I was about to close off the video, and I never even compared the two. Obviously, a much bigger difference. But, if I have to choose one of these two, as much as I love the new 3DS XL, I think I'm going to go with this one. Uh, I just like it's more, more compact form factor. And, oh, the game card actually looks kind of nice on the bottom. I like the better quality of the hinge. I like the fact you can customize the hardware. And even the small details like the fully colored face buttons, which still feel great. And, I mean, this overall feels just great. Just the Pokemon 20 logo on the bottom corner, found on both plates. So, yeah. Pretty happy with it. So there you have it, folks. Just a quick look at the Pokemon 20 new Nintendo 3DS. Uh, like I said, I'm very happy with uh, what I've uh, got here. I mean, it's great that Pokemon has made a special edition of this specific hardware. Maybe because of uh, those cover plates. And uh, they've got plenty of cover plates available in other regions. Uh, I know uh, Japan has, like, lots of them. Just for example, uh, there's plates for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, there are like a couple of sets. Uh, there's uh, some sets featuring Pikachu. They resemble an ETH uh, theme available in the theme shop. And overall, this is actually a really nice looking system. And depending on what set of cover plates you get, it can really change the look of your system. And I really like that, you know. It's great that Nintendo, you know, decided to make this new 3DS in a customizable hardware. Because I think that's a great idea, especially on a handheld. Because handhelds, to me, feel more personal. Because they're with you more, rather than home consoles. I don't know. I don't know how you feel, but that's just my opinion. And, uh, and I'm super, super pumped to play Red and Blue on the Virtual Console. I am kind of blue bummed. That Pokemon Yellow does not come with this bundle. But hey, you know, I'm willing to, you know, pay the extra ten dollars to get it separately, so that won't be much of an issue. And yes, I'm gonna take full capability, so I'm gonna get it on both of my new 3DS consoles. And now that's it for me in this video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like. And if you want to see more of my rambling stuff, be sure to subscribe. This is the XP9900 signing off. Peace!